Life Stories with Kevin Fernyhoe. Hi, my name is Vanessa. I was born in 1976. People living in Cumbria talking about their life. Artistically, you were gifted. I went to art college at Carlisle. I didn't really enjoy it. The highs and the lows. My mum was diagnosed with breast cancer. The loss of your mum. It was almost kind of like a nightmare. From birth. Alopecia is a Latin term for hair loss. I lost all my hair, eyelashes, eyebrows and body hair. To present. The only thing that really got through it was thinking of mum and thinking of how she battled and how she never gave up. Life Stories on BBC Radio Cumbria. This is my story. Life Stories here on BBC Radio Cumbria. My storyteller this week, a lass from out west of the county, Vanessa Cowan. Looking to the future, I mean, what's your philosophy on life, having gone through so much, and I hope you don't mind me saying, so very, very young? Yeah, um, I think I've gone through quite a lot of negatives and positives and I think that's just life in general um you know I don't think I'm any better or any worse off than anybody else but I think it's how you turn around things around and um bounce back really um I mean looking into the future with my company um I've got meetings in America next year with American companies I've just secured two contracts with American um companies who basically the world's best wigs um, which I'm really really pleased about. Um, I have a Hollywood actor that I um, sort of chat with who also has alopecia. His name is Anthony Carrigan. Um, He's on the Flash and Gotham series at the moment. Um, So he's been very supportive. He's a lovely, lovely man. So that's another connection I've got in the States. And the more that this condition alopecia is spoken about in public surely that the stigma will just ease and and fade away? Yes. um, I'm... Well, the charity that I'm working with is AAR UK. Um, um, It's run by a lady called Jane Waddle, who's just a beautiful, wonderful lady. She um, has worked tirelessly for the company... uh, Sorry, for the charity. Um, And that is basically trying to raise... All they need is £20,000, which will create a biobank... Um, for people um, basically to go to get a sample of blood, um, create this biobank, um, and then she's got scientists um, in Scandinavia ready to go to research. Um, not only alopecia is an autoimmune disease, but the links to all the other autoimmune diseases, because once you get alopecia, you're 50% more likely to get major autoimmune diseases like diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, MS. Um, so, yeah, um, I think really that the government needs to sort of look not only at the physical um, disadvantages of having al- alopecia, but the mental disadvantages. And I think um, once that's recognised, um, there'll be a cure there for sure. But we just need some money to get you know the research started there's a lot of research in america and exciting research at the moment but obviously their medical boards are totally different to ours in the uk so um what would work for them may not work for us um in the near future but i'm sure in the next 15 years um the research that's going on in the us um they'll 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 crack it they'll crack the hair loss thing i'm i think they will we keep our fingers crossed yeah Uh, ever the optimist very very confident and let's hope you're right because as you pointed out earlier this week hair loss certainly for those of the fairer sex it takes away to a degree a femininity it takes away something that, that, that i don't think guys can understand or appreciate no um yeah i mean obviously i still get moments where i'm going to bed i've got my wig off Um, because don't wear your wigs at night, ladies, you ruin them. Um, And I've got my makeup off. And yeah, you just sometimes you think, who are you? Because I know you think eyebrows and eyelashes are nothing, but actually when you lose them, they make a huge difference to your face. And you are literally just a blank canvas, um, almost alien-like. And again, it depends on your mentality and how you look at things but I think for most women and children it's a devastating thing um, and something that needs to be nurtured really, That you know that 
the need the need to have a support support group around them of people going through the same thing or have gone through the same thing to really understand um, how it affects you. Yeah. Vanessa, we started this week live stories here on BBC Radio Cumbria. Uh, very quickly, discovering got a, a very, very gutsy gal on my hands here. Uh, you've spoken so warmly and so fondly about close members of your family, the, the time that you were lucky to spend in Lennox Town, just outside of Glasgow, your dad being Glaswegian, mum being from out west of the county, uh, she being a Whitehaven gal. The time that you spent with uh, your grandparents, also a rather special aunt and uncle that you were able to spend a great deal of time with north of the border. And that just in closing here brings me back to, to another story that almost comes full circle. Just how spoilt, just how lucky are two nephews of yours, Ben and Sullivan? Oh, they, I mean, I talk about mum being the light of my life, but they are um, the next two lights of my life. Um, I've, I was there when Ben was born um, and I'm still here now for him. I'm, I was literally like his second mum, I think, um, with my sister being so young and obviously my mum passing away. Um, and we've always been extremely close. Um, I've watched him grow into um, a very handsome young man. He's 18 now. Um, he's got his head screwed on. He's very driven, um, loves to work. Um and I think he'll go very, very far. Do you vet the girlfriends? <laughs> we don't know about girlfriends. When we ask him, he's very quiet. Right. Um, yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> he's just passed his test. He's bought, he, he's bought himself a little car. Um, and so he's off all round Cumbria constantly. Um, so, yeah, he's just um, he's an entrepreneur in the making, I think, without Person. doubt. Gets that from his aunt. <laughs> That's what it will be. The loss of mum that you spoke about earlier this week and uh, so touching that, 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 that you said, light of my life has gone. Has that made you extra protective towards dad? I mean, if, if we could, let's face it, I'm thinking about my own parents here. If we could, we'd wrap them in cotton wool and we'd keep them in a little shoebox so yeah. no one or nothing could ever get That's at them. That's it. I mean, I think when something like that happens to you when you're so young, you've got that sort of frame of mind for, you know, everybody that you love in your life. Um, I mean, Sullivan, my um, youngest nephew, is two now. Um, and, you know, he's just so precious and um, came at a time just um, before my gran passed away um, so again my gran got to meet Sullivan um, and yeah I mean you do want to wrap them in cotton wool but unfortunately you can't do that so you've just got to basically enjoy every minute with them which I do. It's interesting isn't it fate how it plays out I might be reading too deeply into this but Sadly, the loss of a, a grandmother who you adored and she got to see Sullivan before she passed away in the same way the loss of mum. But luckily, Ben was just on the scene. So mum got to see Ben. Yeah, yeah. It's strange, isn't it, how things like that work out? But um, I'm so glad that, you know, both mum and gran got to meet um, grandsons and great great grandsons so um yeah it's lovely really um and i'm sure they're looking from above um watching their every move are you a spiritual person um yeah i mean i think we're here for a reason i think things happen for a reason um i think your life's mapped out for you um yeah i wouldn't say i'm religious but yes i would consider myself as being spiritual yeah it's been an absolute pleasure spending time with you this Thank week you. here on BBC Radio Cumbria. Keep doing the brilliant work that you're doing. Vanessa, I look forward to speaking to you again sooner rather than later. You'll probably be taking up one of the seats for Dragon's Den, uh. <laughs> this hugely successful businesswoman that I know you're going to be. It's been wonderful, delightful spending time with oh, you. Thank you very much. Thank you.